Aquariums are amazing places, but if you've ever been to one, you'll notice that they don't have nature's most alpha predator. That is the great white shark. The great white shark is the most googled underwater animals, and many action-packed movies have been made about this creature. So why would people not want to see them in aquariums? Do they not put them in simply because they're too boring and people don't care? Or are they worried that they'll break out and eat everyone in the aquarium? Well, there are actually various surprising and unusual reasons why no aquarium in the world has a great white shark. There are various good reasons why this animal is never found behind glass. And after hearing why, you'll see this animal in a totally different light. Depression. This may sound kind of funny, because we see depression as a human trait. But did you know that animals can also have mental health issues? And this affects great white sharks more than almost any other animal. Whenever they're put into captivity, they develop depression. Marine biologists believe that's because we're unable to create a suitable artificial environment. We basically can't mimic their natural habitat enough, so they realize. Great white sharks are pretty smart animals after all. When great white sharks are taken from the wild and put into captivity, they are not happy at all. But how can they tell they're in captivity? Well, great white sharks are saltwater creatures. This means they need a specific amount of saline in their water. That's something which is very difficult for aquariums to maintain accurately. That's because saline levels depend on many things. This includes where the water is, where it's flowing, and the time of year. This causes depression in the great white sharks, and this makes them become very lethargic too. At first, they won't be able to move very well, and then they'll stop being able to breathe properly. A depressed great white shark will get very aggressive very easily, and they'll also stop eating. In 1981, a fisherman caught a great white shark. He then sold it to SeaWorld in San Diego. The shark was massive at 5 feet and weighing 100 pounds. So that's why SeaWorld spared no expense and bought a 400,000 gallon shark tank. But the shark simply would not eat what they gave it. Eventually, the shark experienced convulsions and could not swim. Employees then tried to save the shark's life by force-feeding it mackerel fish. They also injected the shark with nutrients. They also tried to help the shark with its swimming using humans, and also pumped more oxygen into the tank. But none of this worked, and the shark was too depressed and passed on 16 days later. The experience taught them a lot about shark medicine and behavior, and it also beat the record for how long sharks normally survive in captivity. The previous sea world record was a mere 96 hours, and the previous world record was held by the Monterey Bay Aquarium. This was a great white shark they acquired in 1984. After 11 days, the shark would not eat and it passed on. At the same aquarium, it took them until 2004 to get a great white shark to eat in captivity. But eventually that shark became way too aggressive to starve. It kept hitting the glass, trying to break out. And it even took out two of its own tank mates. So eventually this shark had to be released back into the wild, probably where the shark belongs. In 2016, Japan tried to house a great white shark in an aquarium. The shark was gigantic at 11.5 feet, but the exhibit did not go as planned as the shark passed on three days later. This is simply because the shark was depressed and would not eat. Space. Great white sharks are incredibly large, and that's why they need a lot of space. After all, some great white sharks can be 13 to 19 feet in length. But you may be thinking, they're not the biggest animal kept in aquariums. For example, orca whales are often larger in their aquariums. So why can't we keep a great white shark which is smaller than an orca? Well, the reason why is simply because of how much great white sharks have to swim. You've likely heard the saying, sharks have to keep moving to stay alive. This isn't true for all species, but it is true for the great white shark. In the wild, great white sharks swim 100 kilometers every day. They swim so much that sharks tagged on one side of the world are sometimes found on the other side of the world. That's because they've swam the length of many oceans and seas. A few years ago, a shark from Africa swam all the way to Australia and back again in less than one year. Also, to obtain oxygen, great white sharks always need to swim forward. That's so that water can pass through their gills so that they can breathe. This is unlike most fish who get their oxygen from opening and closing their mouth. They also need to move constantly to maintain their body temperature. Great white sharks also only change direction when they want to. This makes keeping them in a glass tank even more complex. So even a whale tank would be way too small for a great white shark. Injuries When great white sharks are in captivity, they injure themselves. 
they often ram their heads into the walls of their tanks. This is because sharks have great electroreception. This allows them to sense electrical changes in the water. But if they're in captivity, they don't have this. When their electroreception is disturbed, they don't know what's around them. That's why they can't detect the glass and simply swim into it. Some also say that the sharks may be doing this on purpose. As we've already gone over, sharks can get depressed when they're in captivity. So maybe the sharks are trying to end their lives. Every great white shark which has passed on in captivity has exhibited this behavior. And that includes the Japanese shark which was caught in 2016, we covered earlier. Expensive. If you think that your pet costs a lot of money, try housing a great white shark. You'll be broke in a matter of hours. To get a shark from the wild into your aquarium will set you back a lot of money. The logistics costs are astronomical. It also has to be kept alive with IV fluid pumps. But that's only the beginning of your expenses. Great white sharks will not eat anything but live prey. This is because they're wired to hunt. This means you need lots of fish and larger mammals to feed your great white shark, and they have to be alive too. A tank large enough to house a great white shark would have to be massive. Even if it was a million gallons, it likely would not work. But a one million gallon shark tank would set you back millions of dollars. A large enough tank has never been built. Recently in Las Vegas, a one million dollar fish tank was made. This could maybe house an orca whale, but not a great white shark. Bad viewing. Even if an aquarium did successfully get a great white shark, you would never get a good view. The shark tank would have to be so big that the chance of the shark being near the glass would be very slim. This means that the aquarium visitors would be staring at mostly just water. The shark would simply be way too far away to see. Also, because sharks only feast on live prey, you'd have to see mammals and small fish be eaten. This may not be very nice for children visiting the aquarium. And it's also not good PR seeing you taking animals' lives before your visitors' very eyes. And that's only if the staff could get the shark to eat in the first place, which is difficult. Also, the shark that people would see would not be in good condition. Because sharks often swim into the aquarium's walls, they would likely be injured very badly. Most people don't want to see an injured shark when they go to an aquarium. And it also may be scary for kids and adults to see a shark ramming right into them. Capturing. This should come as no surprise, but great white sharks are very hard to capture. The most recently caught great white shark in 2016 was done by accident in Japan. This is because it was caught up in a fishing net. But if you're trying to do this on purpose, it's nearly impossible. It's very large and also aggressive too. Man could only capture these animals as recently as 1955. To put that into perspective, we've been able to capture lions and tigers for thousands of years. Transportation. Transporting a great white shark is a logistics nightmare. A few years back, the Monterey Bay Aquarium transported a four foot long great white shark. This was in 2004 and it had to go from Florida to California. They had to build a custom mobile shark tank. This was a nine hour drive and the shark had to be put on life support and pumped with IV fluids. A shark has never been shipped on an airplane, but in 2015, UPS overnight shipped a beluga whale. This is said to have cost around $2 million. So to do this with a great white shark, it would likely cost even more. Public perception. Another reason why no aquarium has a great white shark is simply because people wouldn't like it. It may sound cool on the surface, but in reality, it would not be good. More and more, there are protests against aquariums. For example, there are often protests about SeaWorld and their treatment of animals. Also, documentaries such as The Cove and Blackfish have brought attention to this issue. So if another great white shark was captured and to be housed in an aquarium, there would be massive protests. After all, everyone now knows that the shark would likely end up passing away in a matter of days. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below whether you support aquariums or not. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.